Mark Devlin writes, Sup guys, what are some movies that you had literally no intention in seeing or just weren't bothered at all that you thought were actually really good once you eventually saw them? Cheers, love from Scotland. I always go back to a movie that like nobody's ever heard of to this day that I sometimes you get you get treated when you you go to a press screening and it's such a small movie. Like I didn't do any research before I went in, which is usually the case, and I had no idea what this movie was about. And it's so rare to be in a theater and the movie comes on and you see the opening credits and you're like, I have no idea what this movie is. All I knew is that the movie was called Puncture and it starred Chris Evans. Mm. And I was like, all right, let's check this out. It's awesome. It's a movie that totally took me by surprise. It had a very limited release. I don't know what the critical reception was. I don't know that a lot of critics saw it, but it's a really good movie, and it shows that Chris Evans can do a lot more than just be Captain America. I highly recommend checking that one out. Dennis, how about you? Uh, for me, it would be uh, Paddington. Uh, it came Ooh, out, what, good. last year? Yeah. I remember seeing the trailers, and I did not like it at all. I, I If you've followed me, I've always talked about how Whenever they do that kind of mix of live action CG characters like a Garfield or a or a <laughs> ch- was a, the Chipmunks thing right. the, and Smurf they cr- they creep me out and so Paddington was there and I was like oh I don't know they had that toothbrush sequence I was like ah. <laughs> <laughs> and then I went to go see it and I loved it yeah. and I was I was pleasantly surprised I think a lot of people had that reaction to Paddington where it's like you're walking out of the theater and you're like w- w- do we get another one yeah, and yeah. yes we do get another are one are they doing another Paddington they are doing another Paddington I was yeah. in the same boat with you it's like I, I hated that trailer it was like it, it, not as disturbed as you were I like the way how, <laughs> yeah. did, how oh, gr- yeah. I oh, like actually me out. how creeped, creeped out. out I enjoy oh. your creeped out oh. though. Dennis had nightmares like, about Paddington the the toothbrush yeah. and yeah it's like oh just it brushing its teeth it's it made oh. me ill i like that though it never made me ill i just didn't like the trailer like it just felt forced like him going down the stairs i was like oh it's another one of those big loud stupid family films yeah. that i'll hate and i was so wrong it was a very lovable really well done film but that's not my pick my pick is going to be i usually don't go into films i don't want to see i just like i did want to see paddington but i didn't expect it to be that good but uh district nine was one of those films i remember seeing a trailer for it and i was like all right, I'll, I'll put a chance on that. I'll try that out. I also, like, even earlier, Blade was one of those films that it was sort of like, I was like, that's eh, probably going to suck, but I'll go see it. And was like, wow, that was so much fun. Unexpected. Like, Wesley Snipes, like, just from the weird blood scene at the very beginning all the way to the end, it was it was just unexpected. Nowadays, you watch Blade, you'd be like, well, what's so, what's so special about it? Because we've been inundated for like 17 years since then with incredible superhero films. But that really was one of the first superhero films. Even before X-Men, I believe. Yeah, it was, yeah, like, yeah this I'm came not out gonna 99. credit Blade with launching the superhero craze that we have today. I think that was much more X-Men, but Blade did yeah. come out before X-Men. Yeah. And in the late 90s, if you give me Wesley Slipes and a Snord, I'm going to see that movie opening weekend. Did, say did I say Snord? snord? I, I think like, I said Snord. It's a Dr. Seuss word, guys. Yeah, yeah Snord. It's an <laughs> elephant with a giant metal like, blade. Like when Harloff it's, call uh, yeah. a lightsaber, uh, that, that light sword thing. Yeah, that light, light, light sword. sword thingy. Yeah. It's an elephant with a lightsaber yeah. trunk. Snored. Yeah. That actually would be awesome. Like huh. an army of elephants yeah, but marching. It's, it's they really, all really had quick snorts. and agile. Yeah. can jump around. Yeah. yeah, the vulture, dude. He can uh, see, see a I see lot the poster cool now. <laughs> hey, guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.